Um, ben, um, FA Cup run over for another year. It was, I mean, it was always going to be a tough game for you against Royce and against a, a Step 3 team, wasn't it? Uh, yeah, it's, yeah, on paper I suppose it is, yeah. Um, but that's not how you ever approach the game. You always think that um, you're going to give the best account of yourselves and you're going to you're going to try and cause an upset and, and do well, obviously. So, um, yeah, that's how we went into the game. Um, but, alas, it wasn't to be. Yeah, all right, it's, it's difficult because obviously it's, it's been a tough week for you, know, for you and you know, everyone associated with the club. But, uh, I mean, it's, it's one of those things, like you say, you know, you, you, know, you prepare for it as much as you can. But uh, it's, you, know, it's, it's, you come out of it you know, with, with that outcome, and uh, it's, 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 it's still a tough pill, tough pill to swallow. Yeah, it is, because actually, I, key things in games, actually, I spoke to the, 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 the guy who scored two goals to them, uh, the number nine, um, came and saw me and spoke to me at the end, sort of thing, and he was really, really nice, to be fair, um, which is rare at this level. <laughs> um, but he, just, he probably summed up well, he's like, he played really well, um, just in the final third, wasn't, wasn't good enough, and I was like, yeah. We did that all last year and finished fifth and bottom, basically. We dominated. I felt for large, large parts of the game, um, I felt we did really well with the ball. Um, between the two boxes, I thought we, we dominated much of the play. Um, and, and we didn't deal with balls coming into our box very well. Um, and then we didn't, at the other end, didn't hold on to the ball well enough and, and didn't threaten and no real cutting edge to our game as well. You know, our quality was poor at times as well in that final third. Um, we were trying to force, rather than building the play up a little bit more and, and, and lending the ball, we, we were trying to force too much. I mean, there was a couple of you know chances that you had cleared off the line as well, and you know, so, you know sometimes that goes in and makes it a totally different game. Yeah, yeah, of course I do. Yeah, goals change games is the old adage, but um, I think their goals were against the run of play at that particular time. But then we go straight from centre, went one 0 down. We have a great chance for Dante to score, and we don't quite connect with it. And yeah, and then Tammy had a great chance as well. I think Obi's had a couple of decent chances in the first half as well. It's just that that extra little bit of quality, that extra little bit of now. Um, and you've got to make the other team suffer a little bit when you when you have those chances and if you put them away it's, it's a different complex of the game really but no, fair play to them they, they didn't happen so, yeah, they, um, they won the game that's it and uh, Billy Mardell Smith uh, 16 years old made his uh, competitive full start for you how impressed with you uh, was in with him today I thought he did really well I thought he did really well. I said that into the game with him but he's he's a great lad um, He's a really, really good lad. He, he trains and works really hard. He's got a great attitude, great mindset. Um, and I thought his performance for a 16-year-old lad um, coming in for his first start in a, in a, in a bigger game than just a league game, um, I thought he handled it really, really well. And his performance was really good as well. You know, I thought he got on the ball a lot. Um, I think he rode challenges, got his free kicks. And yeah, and I just said to him, you know, he's got to form really good habits in terms of where he would like to get to. Because um, you've got to remember, Billy was involved with England under 15 level um, and only 18 months ago, sort of thing. So, you know, he might feel a little bit of a hardship by being released by a pro club um, after such a short time from being involved at the international scene for his age. Um, so, for him, you know, he's got to really come of age and, and use every opportunity that he gets to really try and kick on and make a name for himself. And, and hopefully he wants to get back to that professional level in, in, in the pro game, basically, you know, given time. That's it. And uh, as I say, you know, one cup, one cup, one cup, <laughs> one, one cup competition over. You've got another one starting in, in the uh, FA Trophy next weekend against uh, Sheffield away. Yeah, yeah, there we do. It's, 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 it's strange, isn't it, this, at this level? Um, we're going to get to probably the end of September and play two league games or something like that, you know, or middle of September and play two league games. That's, that's all we've done, obviously. Some of that's by circumstance, but um, yeah, there's lots of cup games coming in. Um, so, yeah, it'd be, it'd be a good opportunity for us to go and rectify today. Um, looking at Sheppey, they, they've not started the scene off great, but they have a nice setup there, I think, bold accounts and what I've seen. They've got a new Astro Turf there, I think, as well. So, um, yeah, it's a bit of a, bit of a slap uh, distance wise for us, but um, we'll, we'll go there and we've got to do better than we did today. And that's that's always what gets you coming back, isn't it? You know, when you go to the next training session, the next game, is you want to go and put things right, you want to get better, um, and you want to go and win games. So we've done okay up until now. Um, today is, you know, a bit of a bit of a setback, but at the same time, um, there's plenty of positive to come from the performance as well. That's it. Well, uh, good luck next weekend, mate. Thank you very much. Thank you.